turn it over to Alexia. Hey, so can everyone see my slides? Yeah. Um, hi, my name is Alexia Lopez. I'm a PhD student at the University of Central Lancashire in the UK. Whoop, whoop. Today I'll present to you a giant arc on the sky, which is an extremely large crescent structures of galaxies in distant space. And it's so big that it's hard to explain with our current theories. To study large scale structure it means to assess the distribution of the matter in the universe. A large scale structure is an over dense region of space on some specified large scale that's made up of galaxies and clusters of galaxies. In cosmology, we have what's known as the cosmological principle, which states that the universe is homogeneous and isotropic. Homogeneous means that the matter distribution looks the same everywhere, i.e. the same average density, above some specified large scale. It's currently estimated that on scales greater than 1.2 billion light years, the universe should look homogeneous. An isotropic means that the universe looks the same in all directions. It is important we test these two properties of the universe. For the homogeneity, we can assess this by looking at the large scale structure. But why is it so important? Well, the standard model of cosmology, the model that describes everything in the universe, the nature, the dynamics, the contents, the beginning and the ultimate fate, is founded on the cosmological principle being true. So to emphasize, for the universe to be homogeneous on scales larger than 1.2 billion light years, we must rarely find structures that exceed these scales. But the reality is there is already several large scale structures exceeding these scales and today I present a discovery which is almost three times the theoretical threshold. The method we use is intervene in magnesium-2 absorption systems in the spectra of quasars, which sounds quite fancy and complicated, but I'll break it down. The Slime Digital Sky Survey has mapped and measured almost three quarters of a million quasars, which are really bright galaxy cars, over one third of the sky. The light travels across the universe and passes through the gas around galaxies. Some of the light from the quasar is absorbed by this gas and it leaves a signature feature like a fingerprint in the spectrum of the quasar. We're interested in the absorption feature from singly ionized magnesium or the magnesium 2 doublet feature, which indicates the presence of galaxies. Independent authors have catalogued around 40,000 magnesium-2 absorption systems in these spectra, and we've used these magnesium-2 catalogues to map and analyse the large-scale structure. Here I present a giant arc of magnesium-2 absorbers corresponding to a large-scale structure of galaxies. The grey contours or splodges represent the magnesium-2, and the dots represent the background quasars. The giant arc spans 3.3 billion light years, which is almost three times the theoretical threshold. In fact, if you had 15 giant arcs, they would reach from here to the edge of the observable universe. The giant arc is 9.2 billion light years away, which means we're seeing it when the universe was only half its present age. As can be seen in the figure, the giant arc looks intriguingly symmetrical. It's densely packed and it stands out against the rest of the field. If you could see the giant arc in the night sky, it would look something like this. It stands wow. off the top of Buites the Herdsman, or Buites the Kite-shaped constellation, and spans 10 degrees on the sky, which is equivalent to 20 full moons. Wow. Assessing large-scale structures is no easy task, but we've used three different statistical tests to assess the significance of the giant arc. The significance tells us how confident we can be that our result is a real detection and not just something due to chance alignment, alignment. Pictured here is the result from one of the three statistical tests. It mimics a minimal spanning tree, which to crudely put it, is an algorithm that joins the nearest dots and generates structures found within the field. The algorithm locates the giant arc in two parts, one very large portion and one small portion. The larger portion has a significance of 4.5 sigma, which means we have over 99.9997% confidence Incredible. in our result. 
We plan to take further steps in assessing the giant act. For instance, we've already taken a quick look at the quasars in the same neighbourhood as the magnesium two absorbers, and this shows a tentative association. Going forward, we plan to look at other data in the same field as the magnesium two absorbers, as this can help indicate the environment of the giant arc. So to summarise, we have found a giant arc of magnesium two absorbers corresponding to a large scale structure of galaxies. The giant arc spans 3.3 billion light years, which is almost three times the theoretical threshold. And it's also amongst several other large scale structures, indicating a potential challenge to the standard model. Statistical tests show that the giant arc is indeed significant, and a quick look at other data suggests an association between the quasars and the magnesium two absorbers. And the press release will be available at this link later today. Thank you. Amazing. Um, so do I stop sharing now? <laughs> That's and cute. Mute. She's so cute. The first time she ever did it. She's so cute. Amazing. Okay, so hello everyone, can you hear me? 